my channel so today I'm going to be doing a get ready you with me and also welcome to vlogmas day 11 and yes I'm also filming this on the 11th I hope you like the Christmas tree I have moved it it doesn't usually belong there and also the red light behind it is my alarm well just my clock and it's like the light from that but if you want to stick around and see how I create this look then let's just get into this video So I'm going to start off with priming my face. I'm going to use the MUA Skin Define Hydro Primer. I believe it's no longer sold, so sorry about using a discontinued product. But I'm the type of person who doesn't like to waste things. So I'm going to continue using it. And I'm just going to mainly apply this to my cheeks. Jesus Christ, the radiator's hot. And then a bit on my forehead and chin. And then whatever product I've got remaining, I'll rub into my nose. Oh, I had some underneath my finger there. I'd like to point out, I had already put moisturiser on before. I filmed this, but that was about 20 minutes ago. And whilst I wait for that to sort of seep into the skin I'm going to move onto brows and let's grab my brow brush right about from here is it there we go I'm going to be using surprise surprise the revolution pro brow pomade in the shade auburn I've used this in every single makeup video I've done and yeah I just really enjoy it I don't like to do my brows full on so Oh, sorry. Should probably find a smaller mirror because I don't know where one is right that's close to me. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to use this large thing. Thing is, I say I do my brows natural, yet my brows right now are turning out to be a little bit more defined. I've got this small lump of it on my brush. It's annoying. Ever since I brought the brow pomade, I've not used a brow powder since, and I'm not kidding either. Let's try and soften this up. So. There's one brow done. Does anyone else love reading or is that just me? I haven't, and I know in my read on these I said I've not read in a while, but I've just started reading books again, so. What's your favorite book you're reading at the moment? I would love to know. So leave, let me know in the comments. I'll let you point out that's probably the closest I'm going to get because I'm looking similar. Because my brows, they're almost identical sisters. Yeah. 
but yeah, that's probably the closest I'm gonna get them looking the same. But brows, finito. Cause uh, yeah. But to be honest, I feel like with brows, like once you've done them, it's like you feel a lot, lot better. Like I've got brows, I can go the rest of my face. Well, now that I've done my brows and I've let my primer sink in, I'm going to be growing the Rimmel London Last Me Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation in the shade 010 Light Porcelain. I've decided to go for this one because this medium coverage one because I don't want my, because my skin isn't looking the greatest I want to give I want to give it a chance to like breathe so oh got a bit on my nose And then let's grab my damp beauty blender. Yes, I know, I look like a troll. But then again, I always do. And let's just press this into skin. And then let's go in with the second layer because we all know I need it. That's a good thing about this foundation. It lets your skin breathe. Did I just get a bit of my earring? Probably. I'm sorry I keep looking into like my phone screen a bad habit I need to get out of. That's the base done. I know you can see some of my acne, but oh well, I'm going for that look. Then again, I always go for that look. So, yeah. Then let's grab my MUA Hide and Conceal Concealer. And let's just put some underneath my eyes, forehead, chin. Let's cover up some of the areas. Let's do a little bit on my nose as well. And let's blend. And make this look realistic yet flawless. Because that's the thing with others like more popular beauty youtubers they've got all this lighting and so you see the true 
like their makeup looks flawless and so you don't see all these like bumps and all that so my channel we're showing all of those imperfections to show that we're real like i'm not saying they're not and i'd love that lighting i'd love i'd love to have that lighting but it's just like it's a bit misconceiving is that a word yeah misconceiving on you guys the viewer on us slash you guys the viewers because it's like your skin looks perfect and so it's like yeah then I'm just gonna grab some of my MUA Pro Brace Matte Satin Press Powder it had broken into pieces and I've just tried to make some of those pieces into like a powder and I'm gonna tap off excess and oh my god some going on the floor let's tap it back to me so um then any will go on the stool try to get off that excess I was trying to get off make sure it wasn't like full packed loaded on so that then it wouldn't come out me turning orange Well, let's close this so that no, none else go on the floor. Let's get that hair out my face because I didn't want you there. Like, to be honest, this is as flawless a base as I am going to get. No kidding. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So. I know anyone who's been subscribed to my channel for a while will know that last Christmas I did a review on the MUA Luxe Dreamy Charm Palette. I've not used it since because I wasn't a fan of it. I didn't get on with it. It's not pigmented at all. But I was also in bad lighting. And even though in the comments people were like, no, it's just a bad palette. I'm always about giving second chances and I don't want to waste my money. Well, technically I'm not wasting my money, I got it for free. Because it was like, you know how you get at Superdrug, spend £12 and get so on like a makeup brand and get so and so free. Yeah, this was that. So. So I got this. That was either the Hypnotized palette or the Dreamy Charm and I chose this one, or at least I believe the other one was called Hypnotize. I'm going to go for a fairly simple look. But I'm going to add in the pop of colours like you can see in this palette. So I'm going to start off with like, like my transition, which will be like this peachy colour and I'm just gonna pop that into my crease and I'm not gonna tap off the excess because I think the excess is all I need right now You know, that is a good shade. I don't know whether you can see that on camera. But that is a really pretty transition shade. I'm not kidding. And then let's do the other eye. That 
is a really pretty transition. I'm just going to apply a little bit more on this side. But that is a really pretty transition. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dig into this brown shade here, like right here. Let's see how well this swatches. Yeah, basically terrible. But we're all about second chances here on this channel, so. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, then smash a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So you know when I next upload. I don't know whether you can tell, but it has deepened up my crease somewhat. And I'm going to be really cheap and... I don't know, just whatever word you want to call it, but I'm going to dig into another shade with this. Thing is, it's so hot in my room right now, you would not know. But I need to dry out my carpet. Because the radiator might have leaked. Great. And I would open my window, and I probably am going to end up opening my window. But I want to give it maximum chance to dry first. Because it's not just the carpet that needs to dry, it's also the wood. So that's great. I don't know when you can tell but it has deepened it up and I will grab another brush for this don't worry and I'm going to dig into hold on it's so hot in here I'm going to dig into this which one did I dig into? this one yeah this one I dug into this silvery shade right here that's actually a really pretty shade. Oh, it's hot. I've just remembered something. Do I know where it is? Probably not. Oh yeah, it's that. Spray it with water. Comes out with comes out more pigmented. How did I forget that? Because I honestly don't know. Okay, now that has come out more pigmented. A lot more. So what I'd recommend is either using Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus or, as I've used, water to deepen the pigmentation. But what I will also say is there is a lot of fallout on this palette. Like, do you notice that? Like, but then I've not used any. There's hardly any. Like, so much fallout. Seeing as my brush is still damp, I'm going to go in with this side.
Okay, so that eye is a lot better than that eye, so let's spray again. And let's dig back into that grey. Like, you see how much more pigmented that grey is since the first application? Yeah. This palette can be worked with and it can be bent. So, that's a good thing. And now this is where I'm like bold. Not that brush. This is where my sort of bold pop of colour comes in. Because on the double lash line I'm going to take a blue. adding too much because I don't want it to be like bold I will mention I struggle with doing the lash line of this one eye just because I always find myself blinking And then taking a small brush, I'm going to stab it into a white, and I'm literally just going to put this in the inner corners. And that is the eyeshadow complete. Now for mascara, let's find it. I'm just going to be using this Technic one. So love thy makeup, as the website is called. I'm just going to be applying that to my upper and lower lash line. Actually no, I'm just going to say it. shit, I've got eyeshadow on my, not eyeshadow, I've got mascara on my eyelid. Why did I put my makeup wipes? And they are there. You alright? Ow. I guess you have noticed I'm a bit closer. Than what I usually am. What's in this the Christmas tree? Yeah, that got put up like last Wednesday. Currently a Tuesday. Let's split these up whilst I'm on it. And then let's go. Where's that grey? Was that the grey? Yes. It was. Let's go back in.
there's more grey. Let's do the brush. I used to for the white. Yes, I'm kind of unorganised. And I can't seem to find it. Of course. That would be me. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Lol. And that is I pushed back up. And let's hope I don't make the same mistake for the next eye. But I did just accidentally get some on my mirror. But that is fixable. Why am I making mistakes today? I don't usually make mistakes. Mm. Mascara is finished. Finito. Ugh. Seriously, yeah. And then I'm going to be wearing an eyeliner. Yes, you did hear me right, eyeliner. But I'm not going to be doing wings. Which might disappoint some of you. But sorry. Yeah, I don't think I should have used that eyeliner. Not a good eyeliner. Don't use that. But then again, it was the Technic one. Can I find... Yes, I can find my other one. If I could reach it. Is it even in here? Yes, it is. I'm going to be grabbing my Second Glory Supercut Eyeliner. There we go. I seem to be getting eyeliner everywhere today. is going wrong today well just this well to be honest let's just kind of kind of finish it there and here comes the difficult eye.
Why is it that I has turned out better? Because that is how I wanted the line to look. I don't like that. <sighs> Makeup can never get right some days. It's too hot in here. <laughs> uh, but my eyes are finished. Thank God. And before we continue, let's wipe off this excess because. Well, it's not that much, should I say? For anyone who has Netflix, I would really, I would seriously recommend them um, watching Merlin. I loved Merlin. And it was on TV like years ago. But then it kind of went off. But now it's back. Ugh, what brush was I using? I know you're not really supposed to do this, but I'm about to double up on brushes. On brush uses. I used it for face powder and now I'm going to use it for bronzer. And for that I'm going to be using the collection Bronze Gallo. And it's like the matte bronzer. For a while I didn't realise that you could, it was either that you were, basically I thought you'd either choose between bronzer or contour. I didn't realise you did both. And I've applied too much to my brush so. I was about to say watch me turn orange, but in camera it doesn't look too bad. Oh wait, yeah, there's someone at home. Sorry about that. There we go. I will actually contour my nose. I just, for some reason, decided to put bronzer on the tip of my nose. Now let's contour using this angled brush. Because that seems to have been a brush I'm not sure where I've put it. But I'm also going to be using the collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt. I'm not purposely using collection for my contour and bronze. That's just how it's ended up being. I didn't used to like bronzer because of it being orangey, but now I don't mind it. Especially since I find out that you pair it with the contour. You don't have it on its own. Obviously I know that some people can just do the bronze and that's it, but 
I'm not that type of person. So. Little bit of nose contour, not too much. And then, now on to blush. I'm going to be using the W7 powder blush in the shade Rose. I'm only going to be doing this lightly though. Like, literally very lightly. There we go. And now I'm going to be doing what you might call the unspeakable. I'm going for a natural highlight. Anyone who's new to my channel, I'm not a natural highlight person. Seriously, I hate when that lighting changes. Let's just add a little bit more to the cheek because it's a natural highlight but we can go slightly above natural just a tad and then full lipstick and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Melted Matte I'm not sure what shade this is in I really I'm really not sure but it looks way worse Sorry if you have any bad language in the background. And that is that complete. I don't usually go for like this sort of pink. I have to try and see myself back in my stool. Because I was slipping off the bag. I don't usually go for this sort of pink, but at the moment I've just been like, I've been wanting to try it out. So, yeah. And it's literally too hot in here, so I'm gonna open a window after this. <laughs> because, yeah. I'm just not a fan. Actually, I need to. At this so with the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray and I promise this isn't sponsored by collection because I've used like what three collection products in this look so and 
that is definitely this look complete okay now that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and comment any video ideas or q a questions for a future q a and i will see you guys in vlogmas day 12 bye